美国纽约州护理师林赛成为全美第一位接种辉瑞武汉肺炎疫苗的人。Um, I'm grateful、um, that I had the opportunity to have access to the vaccine, and my hope is that in the coming months, more people around the world will have the same access. 疫苗总算在美国开打，但全美累积死亡病例数已突破三十万例。希望严重疫情能因为疫苗出现转机。川普也推文表示，首剂疫苗成功接种，恭喜美国还有全世界。但是疫苗施打的优先顺序又扯上政治议题。White House officials confirming that they have been told that officials who work closely with the president will be among the first Americans to receive doses of the Pfizer coronavirus vaccine. The goal here is to prevent more. More government officials from becoming infected with coronavirus. 原本传出白宫官员被列入第一波接种名单，但川普推文说明白宫人员应该要晚点施打，除非有特殊需要。而他自己也还没安排打疫苗的时间，期待有合适的时间点再这么做。不过，美国大众对于接种疫苗还是有些疑虑。A new poll finds 61% of Americans say they'll choose to get the coronavirus vaccine if it's made available to them.、Uh, a minority, 32%, say they would not. 专家表示，至少要百分之七十五到八十的人口接种才能达到集体免疫的效果。而抢先全球开打疫苗的英国，现在也发现比现行病毒传播速度更快的新变种病毒株，已通报世界卫生组织。而世卫也根据报告，正在关注相关变化。